royal fans defy stay-at-home order saying Prince Philip deserved more it's a disgrace. Royal fans have laid bare their true feelings about the palace's request to stay at home during Prince Philip's funeral, with one calling it a disgrace. Despite pleas to avoid congregating outside Windsor Castle and instead stay home to watch the ceremony on TV. Well-wishers began gathering at the royal residence early this morning. Speaking outside the historic castle, Professor Chris Amifidon, from Essex, who says he met Philip on a few occasions, said telling the public to stay away was not the way to go. He said, I think it's a disgrace, there should be more people here, especially when there are plans for people to return to football stadiums. It's such a mediocre service for a great man. His contribution to helping working-class people generally has been enormous. He has done so much for this country, there should be a big public celebration of his life. People have been asked not to come, so I think it will be a quiet atmosphere, I just feel so sad. There were somber scenes in Windsor this morning as the early sunshine brought people to the castle carrying flowers. Benches quickly filled up with well-wishers keen to bid farewell to the prince in person rather than in their own homes. Some people were seen wearing custom face masks bearing Philip's face. Mounted police officers as well as their armed comrades are conducting patrols in and around the town. There is also an increased presence of ambulance staff. When Buckingham Palace announced the death of the Duke of Edinburgh last Friday it appealed to members of the public not to lay floral tributes outside royal residences. But despite Despite the request, thousands of people have turned up at Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle to pay their respects since last week. Bouquets of flowers, handwritten cards, photos and even candles have been brought to historic buildings in memory of Philip. Five coaches each carrying dozens of people in military uniforms have driven into the main entrance of the castle. The large white vehicles drove in just after 12.30 p.m. on Saturday. Traffic on the high street was temporarily blocked off by police officers on motorbikes while pedestrians were halted by stewards. Staff close to the castle had a difficult time ensuring pedestrians were keeping the pathways clear after the coaches had driven in. Senior royals were snapped being driven to the castle this afternoon ahead of the 3 p.m. church service. Prince Charles, the Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Mark and Zara Tindall were among those seen heading to the royal residence. The Archbishop of Canterbury was also pictured arriving at St. George's Chapel. The Most Reverend Justin Welby will preside over the funeral alongside the Dean of Windsor. They will receive the coffin after the minute's silence marking the start of the funeral. Well-wishers lined the streets as mourners made their way to the funeral. Windsor resident, Ian Mawini, 56 said it had been a somber few weeks in the town. He said, I think it's really important to mark the event. It's been a very somber time for the town. 